welcome friends my name is avinash gorakshakar and i welcome all of you to another uh, interesting episode of konaksya high flyers friends in these episodes we always talk to you about emerging companies from emerging sectors and uh, we make it a point to talk to the promoters of such companies so that mm-hmm. all of us can understand you know their companies operations better uh, we make an effort to understand the company's business model their growth journey their future plans and in this process we get a lot of enlightenment from the promoters themselves and today friends uh, we got a very interesting company which is going to hit the sme capital market very soon the company's name is tirtha gopikon limited and uh, we have the privilege of having the managing director mr mahesh kumbani uh, mahesh ji welcome to the show uh, thank you very much for sparing your valuable time with us today i'm quite sure that in this small interaction mahesh ji will be able to understand your company's operations in a much better way uh, thank you very much uh, sir uh, giving me opportunity myself uh, mahesh kumbani uh, i am a civil engineer uh, in my profession with uh, over 25 years uh, experience in the field of uh, government construction hey, fine i think uh, uh, my my the first question which is very elementary and which we want to understand from you is that if you could tell us you know what is the kind of scope of activity you do in the epc business which you run and secondly how is the company positioned in the domestic sector in which segments are we prevalent whether it is roads water civil works what are the segments where the company is dominant and if you could share with us a small uh, you know journey how you started this business whether it's a first generation company or whether it's a second generation kind of effort if you could please share your thoughts and start uh, yes sir uh, may, uh, i i i have uh, uh, working with uh, Uh, construction uh, in uh, uh, 25 years i established a proprietary firm in uh, 2019 subsequently i incorporate a company in uh, 2019 as a tirth gopikon private mm-hmm. limited which was later converted into a public com- uh, company as a tirth gopikon limited uh, sir we are an uh, engineering construction company engaged in the infrastructure development work like uh, uh, construction of road water supply sewerage distribution network and uh, canal project and uh, also gabion bridge in government sectors currently uh, we have uh, having projects up to tune up uh, 1100 cr okay so basically this is the uh, kind of order book as on date right around 1100 crores is what you have correct yes sir uh, mai ji uh, jo agla sawal mera hai the next question mm-hmm. to you is that if you could give us a break up of your order book like you know you got 1100 crores of order book isme se what is the share of roads sewerage water and other projects if you could give us a break up and which is the area where you know uh, tirth gopikon is really dominant you know where a major part mm-hmm. of the business comes for the company sir uh, major uh, uh, component uh, execution in uh, water supply is uh, around uh, uh, 60% uh, in uh, water supply uh, uh, 30 percent in the road segment majorly sir uh, uh, 2024 mein humne uh, execute kare hai water supply segment mein uh, around uh, 90 percent and uh, other uh, road segment mein uh, 5 to 7 percent and baki uh, other segment mein okay so basically water segment is the major major segment which the company is doing. okay Right, yes, now sir. geographically where are we present are we present pan india or jyada tar western india southern india in pockets mein hum jyada tar present hai to iske bare mein bataiye sir presently we have uh, execution in uh, central india madhya pradesh okay so largely it is madhya pradesh any other state where we are present uh, uh, presently not sir but uh, we have uh, uh, expand in uh, other state uh, in future okay Right. and uh, as far as the customers are concerned mai ji if you could give us some idea which are the kind of marquee customers you all cater to uh, because you know i was reading your presentation your prospectors you all cater to large customers so if you could share some names for the benefit of our viewers please sir uh, mainly uh, key active customer of our is uh, uh, our central and state government bodies like uh, and psus like uh, uh, indore and ujjain uh, smart cities uh, umc and mpjnm okay any other from the private sector mai ji private sector se koi customer no sir no sir okay so basically it is largely these government undertakings so okay. and yes. uh, mai ji one more thing i wanted to understand that see your company enjoys a fairly large track record 
a very large order book so you know on ground what are the signals you are getting for the business like do you expect this strong momentum you know in the coming year also that is for fy 24 25 because fy 24 to already khatam ho chuka hai but fy 25 ke liye how do you see the business panning out and you know how big is this opportunity india is now showing lot of growth in infrastructure government is also pushing lot of infrastructure projects so as a epc company what is the opportunity which you are seeing over the next say, 3 to 5 years and what are the kind of strategies you have you are planning to put so that we can capitalize you know from this growth पीसी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में मेनली uh, ये है कि सर अभी जो आ, हमारी ऑर्डर बुक है इलेवन हंड्रेड सी की और हमारा जो एक्सपेक्टेड टर्नओवर है 2024-25 में अप्रोक्सीमेटली 250 फिफ्टी टू थ्री हंड्रेड सी आर ओके नेक्स्ट से वन टू टू ईयर्स महेश जी ये, ये टॉप लाइन जो 300 करोड़ का आएगा ये दो, एक दो साल में आने का पॉसिबिलिटी है ये, ये, and uh, mai ji now tell me one thing like normally you know what is the kind of working capital cycle in our business like epc is something which you know involves right from project execution to the delivery part to the client so working capital cycle how long is the working capital cycle in our business if you could share your thoughts sir uh, normally epc contract mein uh, working capital cycle is 45 to 70 days okay and uh, you get the collections on time like normally uh, customers sir kitne din mein aapko paisa dete hain or is it milestone yes, based kitna kaam ho gaya utna aapko paisa milta hai yes sir uh, 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 recently payment uh, in time okay so there are no major delays as such money is coming on time from the customers uh, yes sir okay and uh, maybe now one more thing which is very important for epc companies is that after the project is complete you know the customer keeps some earnings money you know at least for some time so normally in our case what is the normal kind of earnest money which is kept by the customers normally industry mein 5 6% 10% so, hota hai to hamare liye kitna percentage hoga as of date like uh, you know march 24 mein agar you know jo receivable hai earnest money ka jo balance amount wo kitna hoga और मोटा मोटी परसेंटेज कितना होगा विल इट बी बिटवीन 5 टू 10% अह यस सर 5 5% अप्रोक्सीमेटली ओके एंड माय जी नाउ अनदर थिंग व्हिच इज वेरी प्रेवेलेंट आई बिलीव इन द ईपीसी इंडस्ट्री प्लीज करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग इफ यू कंप्लीट द प्रोजेक्ट बिफोर टाइम डू यू गेट सम इंसेंटिव फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स लाइक यू नो जल्दी अगर आप कंप्लीट करोगे तो आपको कुछ इंसेंटिव मिलता है इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो फाइनेंशियल गेन्स यस सर यूपीसी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में और सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट की जो स्कीम्स है और घर जल नल योजना अमृत और अदर में उसमें इंसेंटिव का प्रावधान रखा हुआ है इन टाइम बिफोर टाइम हम कंप्लीट करते हैं प्रोजेक्ट तो थ्री परसेंट का इंसेंटिव मिलता है अच्छा नाउ मै जी नाउ टेल मी वन थिंग दैट फाइनेंशियल अपार्ट फाइनेंशियल तो सभी को पता है बट यू नो How, what is the differentiating factor of our company when we take up a project like is it execution is it basically service quality uh, what is it so special about our company you know how do we differentiate ourselves with other epc players and uh, you know we have got a very large order book 1100 crore ka order book to bahut hi bada hai so ye order book you know kamane ke liye aapne kya kya efforts kiye hain and now is execution going to be a major challenge because you know isko execute karna bhi ek within a time bound period is also equally a challenge So tell me one thing. What are the qualitative positives of our company? If you could share two three points for us. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, in our company, we have uh, dedicated business heads uh, looking over uh, each steps of the uh, process, uh, uh, be it uh, tendering, procurement, or uh, designing. We have a very strong execution team, uh, uh, and our motto is uh, in nation building, TGL never sleep. Uh, our workman okay. forces uh, uh, operates uh, 24 by 7 using the latest tools and technique to do their uh, jobs uh, our okay. success comes uh, from our good uh, workers uh, the quality of work uh, and uh, how we uh, well we, uh, we manage projects because of this uh, we have a good relationship with our clients uh, who keep uh, coming uh, back to us we have good relationship with our uh, suppliers uh, also they are uh, really important to us uh, because uh, they help us uh, keep our uh, business running smoothly by working closely with uh, them and building trust uh, we set uh, ourselves apart from the uh, other companies 
I think very nicely articulated, uh, Mahesh ji. Uh, Mahesh ji, now tell me one thing. I was seeing the financials of the company. Financials for uh, FY24, that is, you know, for the running year, which is now more or less complete. We have seen a very dramatic increase in your profitability. Uh, you know, guess, last year the profitability also improved, but this year in the first uh, almost uh, six to seven months, you know, the numbers have been very good, especially both on the top line profitability. So, its main current care. What is the main reason for this improvement in profitability? And do you think this trend will continue in the next say, 12 months also? Hopefully. Yes, sir. Uh, we have got the uh, Jalse Null project, and we are the first mover. So we so we have got the uh, tender for the higher bidding due to which our profit uh, rise. And we also have a diverse team uh, with a range of expertise. Uh, and uh, the teamwork uh, has helped uh, us grow quickly. Someone has said, sir, uh, it uh, correctly, one person alone can't uh, build a company. But uh, with a good uh, team, anything is possible, sir. Okay. No, I think understood. I think YG very nicely articulated that teamwork is very important in our business. And having a good team is equally you know, positive for us. Uh, now tell me, uh, uh, YG, basically now we are hitting the capital market. You know, We just want to understand from you that, uh, you know, how big is the public issue which you are offering to investors and what is the main purpose of raising this fund? If you could share your thoughts. Sir, uh, mainly uh, fundraising purpose for our working capital. Okay, so uh, what is the amount we are planning to raise, Mahesh ji? 44 CR, sir. Approximately. Achha, so entire 44 CR is going to be for working capital? I mean, uh, there is no other... Uh, purpose basically any repayment of debt or basically general corporate purpose. Sir, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, what you would, uh, all amount uh, in uh, working capital okay. uh, and general uh, corporate purpose. Okay, understood. Okay, now uh, when you have spoken about working capital, you said that normally working capital, you know, the money comes on time. But typically in government projects, you know, sometimes we hear that there are some delays. But in our case. Uh, in the last say, two to three years, have we seen any delay or the money is coming actually on time? Like, you know, now government is also making effort to ensure that money on projects is released on time. So in our track record, last two to three years, is the money coming on time or one or two customers have been giving us some little problems, you know, according to you. If you could please share. No, sir. Uh, we recently government uh, project may, uh, payments uh, in time, uh, in time he has, sir, or a uh, target based hmm. project right there, uh, government. Ke. So target based or incentive based project. So this payment in time he has. Okay. Or uh, uh, Mahaji now just wanted to understand that uh, you know you all are going to uh, offer your shares to the public. You have built a company, you know, which is quite uh, strong and uh, you know having a very large order book. So new investors are now going to join your growth journey. So as a promoter of the company, Mahaji, what would be your message to you know the new oncoming shareholders? Because see, everybody wants to make money in the market. But as a promoter, uh, you know, how would you add value to them? And what would be your message? You know, in a small way, what could you tell them? That is, what is the reason for them to invest in our company? Sir, I would like to say to my investors that now the Indian infrastructure sector is growing in the infrastructure sector. And this is the major benefit of our company. And for this growth, we are also growing in the future. और आगे ग्रोथ भी करेगी सर मैं मेरे इन्वेस्टर के लिए ये जरूर मेरा मैसेज है कि डेफिनेटली वी मतलब हम ग्रोथ करेंगे कर, कर, करेंगे सर बिल्कुल आई थिंक वेरी नाइसली सेड भाई जी नाउ लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द शो टुडे दैट इन आवर बिजनेस दैट इज द ईपीसी बिजनेस यू हैव बीन इन दिस बिजनेस फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम टेल मी वन थिंग सर व्हाट आर द मेन रिस्क इन आवर बिजनेस हमारे धंधे में सबसे बड़ा रिस्क क्या है और कोविड तो एक यू नो वाज अ वेरी एबनॉर्मल इवेंट बट अदरवाइज you know, with the order book of 1100 crores, is execution the only risk in our business? If execution is not done on time, that is the major risk. Otherwise, aisa kon sa risk hai hamare dhande mein, which you can share and tell us. Sir, accidentally, uh, risk uh, like a COVID, uh, to hai hai. Uh, but uh, we uh, operate in a highly competitive environment. Uh, uh, environment. Generally, in the open bid tender, the purpose of uh, awarding contract, our clients generally specify uh, pre-qualification criteria based on uh, certain factors such as project execution experience, uh, technical strength, performance, capabilities. Uh, while uh, we have strived to increase our portfolio of uh, 
direct government uh, contracts we accept uh, to face uh, competition from large domestic infrastructure development companies uh, which uh, are we uh, well placed to uh, fulfill the pre qualification criteria so that uh, this is the most uh, uh, risk factor in our business i think maji one last question which i left out which i would like to ask you is that see we have got a very large auto book of 1100 crores now do we have a integrated approach ki jo bhi machinery lagti hai jo bhi equipment lagta hai wo hamara khud ka hai ya hum usko outsource karte hain like how does it work in our company sir uh, recently uh, order book uh, jo hai hamare paas uske liye paryapt machinery hamari on hai बाहर से रिसोर्सेस करने नहीं रही मतलब स्पेसिफिक वर्क में कहीं कुछ रहता है तो बिल्कुल हम आउटसोर्स करते हैं बट रिसेंटली जो प्रोजेक्ट्स है उसमें हमारी ओन मशीनरी से हम कर रहे हैं एग्जीक्यूट बिल्कुल आई थिंक सो यू यू फॉलो अप प्रॉपर इंटीग्रेटेड अप्रोच व्हिच इज वेरी नाइस सो एनीवे आई थिंक महेश जी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर स्पेयरिंग योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम आई थिंक वी कुड अंडरस्टैंड योर कंपनी इन अ मच बेटर वे so my best wishes to you your entire management team and best wishes for your forthcoming ipo also dhanyawad thank you thank you thank you sir thank you